Okay, perfect. Okay, so we're going to start with some ice breaking questions. So I like breaking ice. Yeah, okay. So what was the first thing you did when you came here? First thing I did when I came here, actually, uh, I actually ate food, a lot of food. <laughs> Maybe a little bit too much, but yeah, I love the I love the food here. So, yeah. Good. There is never such thing as too much food, but anyway, no, no, okay. No. So tell us two facts and one lie about yourself. You don't have to tell me which one's which. Two facts and one, one fact and one lie, or two facts and one lie. Two facts and one lie. Two facts and one lie. Uh, fact one. I, oh no, no, actually just tell three things. I can't let you know which is real, right? Okay. I can guess. Okay. I, I could try to guess. Okay. I really love my mom. I'm really into country music and line dancing, secretly in my spare time. And I am more of a cat man than a dog man. The last one was the lie. I just don't know. It wasn't. Was it the second uh, one? Uh, we're not going to tell here, right? The people okay, just have to guess fine, at home. Okay, fine. I so. wanted to guess. Okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> fine. Okay. So, what's your guilty pleasure song that you keep on playing on repeat? My guilty song pleasure? Um, probably Aha, Take On Me. It's, it's probably the best pop song I ever created. It's just something I, I you know, it's, it's very hard to get out of my set. It's one of my favorite songs of all time. Fair enough, a very good answer, okay. So, if you were to create a super group of three fictional characters, who would you choose and why? Three fictional ch characters? Um, probably Elon Musk, because he can get shit done. You know, he knows some people, he's pretty connected. Probably Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, same story. He's still pretty muscular. He has some political uh, people, like an influence that helps. Plus, he knows how to act if we need to get out of there. He can pretend to be someone else and somehow get out of there. Out of there. And then thirdly, I'll probably bring Oprah Winfrey because Oprah is just a powerhouse and she knows even more people than Elon and, uh, and Arnie combined. So I think with those three, I should be fine. Wow, that's a very strong <laughs> gathering of people, okay. Okay, so what's the stranger's request you ever received from a fan? Strangest request I've ever received? Um, good question. I mean, yesterday I got a request for someone who wanted to dance on stage, but there was no stage. So it was actually in a, in a club. And there, so it's, sometimes it's hard when people ask you something that you can act, actually even do for them. So that was pretty weird, but the weirdest thing um, probably was I had to sign someone's penis with my autograph. Uh, with a big black marker and then that person was gonna tattoo that specific autograph on his penis holy shit okay so yeah that's and quite that was like wild. it's it was yeah it was hard because like it was a big marker and well, anyway <laughs> I'll, let, I'll let you fill Not in the rest graphic. Okay. but it, it was it was yeah. it was intense but hey I'm you know I if the fans want it I do it so okay I do what it takes so we have For to keep guys. the mics even closer to our mouths. Even closer, okay. Yeah, because lost frequency. This reminds me of a movie. <laughs> yeah. So, so, <laughs> come on. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> if you were to mix at any historical event, what would it be? Oh, um, probably when uh, Moses split the sea. You know, it's yeah. like uh, the biggest sort of, um, the most intense wall of death. You just split the people and then you just slam it back together i mean that's probably the biggest wall of death i've ever seen so yeah okay. a religious wall of death <laughs> so a very solid answer yeah, yeah okay. absolutely <laughs> so and what was the last song you listened to the last song actually it's a new song i just created uh i was just listening in the car to the mix down uh it's a special song i haven't played it anywhere yet live um it's a song that contains voice notes that I've recorded to my father who's passed away so it's a uh, it's one of those songs I want to keep for when I release my whole new live show so I've been saving some songs that I'm not playing yet and I'm uh, yeah I'm creating something something special for the next couple of a uh, couple of months hopefully next year okay that sounds beautiful and can't wait to hear that and do you prefer texting or talking on the phone I, I prefer talking on the phone but I but I don't like it. 
<laughs> so I, I prefer it. But I generally have, like to have no contact at all. So I don't have email. Um, and I generally just like to just do my thing. So the less contact I have to have, the better. Okay. So. Email is my favorite platform ever, but anyway. What's your favorite? Email. Anyways. Gaming. A email. Email, email. Email, yeah, I love that. Um, yeah, it was, and then you get a lot of email, and then it's, you know, and then it becomes less pleasurable, so. Well, the more emails you get, the better, but. I, I like personal, like when I'm just sitting here, and um, other than that, even sort of sometimes after shows, it gets a little harder to uh, to constantly always be there to do pictures and to do all of it because it's um, this whole life is kind of you know it, it gets to you it gets and, and I think the most I can do is do the best shows that I can and I try to always be there for the fans but uh, sometimes that's all I have to give you know so I, I really want to save all I can for my creativity and that's already a lot so yeah fair enough fair enough one minute okay so we're going to play a very short never you have know, I two ever minutes. okay fine three minutes Thank it's you. It's fine. Okay. No problem. Ah, so good. Okay, so but my answers were too long, so. Thank you. Okay, so because we're a Never See, we're going to play Never Have I Ever. You probably know the game. I'm going to read to you a series of phrases. I've seen it. I've seen it. So yeah, if I'm it's curious. True. Bring it on. Okay, cool. <laughs> Do we have to explain or just say this and then move on? Well, it's how you feel like. If you feel okay. like explaining, okay. sure, but. I like to explain as little as possible. The same Great. with my art, you know, Keep like. The mystery. The same with my music and, and my art. When you go to a museum exposition of me, I generally, I don't like openings. I just want you to go there, just watch and enjoy. So I'll give you the answer, then you have to fill it in. Okay, perfect. Never have I ever missed the drop. I've never missed a drop. Never. Okay, congrats. Never <laughs> have I ever forgot my playlist. Uh, No, I mean... Yeah, I mean, I, I sometimes play without a playlist, so I just kind of go freestyle. So it depends on the crowd. Okay, so it's 50-50. Never have I ever danced naked. I mean, I, I dance naked every day, so... So you have to show the other side. So okay. I, yeah, it's what I do. It's what I'm best known for. Very nice, okay. Never have I ever was out of my mind. Uh, I am... I'm always out of my mind. You know, it's the only way for me to do what I do. It's the only way for me to create this crazy music, crazy clothing, and crazy art is to be crazy. So I'm always out of my mind. Sorry, guys. Amazing, perfect. Please, okay. kids at home, never be inside your mind. It's not good. Always get out. Get out there while you can. Life is too short. Go crazy. A mantra, okay. Yeah, it's a mantra. <laughs> Go absolutely insane. <laughs> Never have I ever dyed my own hair. Dyed my own hair? Actually, I have not. <laughs> I like to leave that to the professionals, because I, you know, I think that's not definitely not one of my talents. I have a lot of things that I'm not talented at, and this is definitely one of them. Yeah, same here. Okay. Never have I ever bought myself ugly shoes. Oh, I mean, it's it's in the eye of the beholder, but I think I probably have bought a lot of ugly shoes, but I like them. So I think there's no such, such thing as ugly or beautiful. For me, if it works, it works, you know? Same like human beings, we're all beautiful. Yeah, fair enough. That's how it goes, okay. So never have I ever fallen deeply in love at first sight. Oh, I have. I have fallen in love deeply at first sight, yeah. I don't know if that's the best idea, but, <laughs> but I have, yeah. Okay, not necessarily, but yeah. Never have I ever delete, deleted a track by mistake and lost the whole project. Oh, unfortunately, I have actually. I uh, I lost the whole album. Yeah, I had a, I worked on an album for four and a half years by myself, just locked in my studio, and uh, I lost my backup right before I went on tours. So I was like, "This is fine," and I got home. And when I came home, I lost the main hard drive as well. So I lost both the backup and the main, and my whole album was gone. And there was no one else that had it. So four and a half years of work was gone. So yeah, after that, I, uh, I I had to rethink my whole life. Holy shit, okay, that's Yeah, that was, uh, was a dark period in my, in my life. Yeah, that's quite hardcore, okay. So this is the, at the end of this game. And now I have three Romanian words. You have uh -oh. to repeat after me and maybe try to guess what they mean. Okay. Okay, so the first one is migdale. 
There's a lot of bass right now, so yeah, you, <laughs> you gotta, really you gotta really speak louder. What? Migdale. Migdalem? Migdale. Is that like McDonald's over here or? No, it's just McDonald's. It, it, it means almonds. Almonds? Yeah. I love almonds. I do yeah. too. Yeah, that's good. But, but I'm I'm, I'm, I love. Uh, raw almonds. Raw almonds, yeah. yeah. Or like, okay. I like nuts and ice cream. You know, like that's my favorites. So if you ever want to give me, no, actually, don't give me ice cream. That's gonna be, gonna be horrific. People showing up at the airport with ice cream. <laughs> Sometimes people give me food. You know, they're they're literally, we're in an airport somewhere, and and it doesn't matter somewhere in the world, and they show up with their own home cooked food. I love you guys, and you guys make the best gifts. But I'm not sure if I'm gonna eat your home cooked food because I'm not sure what's in it. So yeah. Yeah, that's for the best for sure. Yeah, okay. So. Yeah, maybe a T-shirt or you know. You know, sometimes they have like a like a handmade doll. Like yeah, yeah some really sick. And sometimes I'm, it looks like a voodoo doll. So I'm I'm happy to take it home. So so they didn't take me home and do weird things with me with that doll. So, but yeah, people are really creative. I get some really really cool cool gifts. So I'm really blessed. Wow, that's really cool. Okay, so the second word is crayon. It's probably like a like a crayon. Yeah. <laughs> That's not too hard, but crayon. Yes. Okay, there Mucho you mask. go. <gasps> <gasps> okay, very cool. She and the last one is plage. Plage? Yes. It's like beach or something? Yeah. Yeah. How did you know that? There one? we go. Wow. There we go. Okay. I know I know a little Romanian. You know, when I go into countries I try to I try to learn a little bit, but it's I'm a little shy always, so I don't really. But I I mean, if you come somewhere for many years, you you pick up on things. So fair enough, amazing. Yeah. 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 Well, I thought this would be a bit more challenging. But <laughs> oh well, it is what it is. Okay. Here we go. Do we have okay. time for a, a complete the sentences game? I give. I mean, I'm having fun. So okay, come on. Yeah. good. I'm Let's having fun as well. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're out of control now. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna. No, no. It we're, let two. me finish it. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Okay. So I'm going to give you the beginning of the question, <laughs> and you have to complete it. I am happy when. I'm happy when. Oh, this is a. I. It's very hard to say. There's like small moments of happiness in my life. Um, it is happy when everything comes together. When you've worked really hard. And there's that one moment where, sort of, your whole life conspires to come together to create the perfect moment. And I think a lot of people are looking for happiness. I don't think that actually exists. I think you can find moments, small moments of happiness, and I think if you can find that, you're blessed. You know, I think we live in a society where we think we're constantly looking, we have to look for that eternal happiness, and it, that doesn't exist. So I think once we realize that, and we know that we, you know, we, we will be blessed with small moments of happiness, and then we should cherish them, I think that's, you know, that's the key to life. Thank you for this answer. You're welcome. It's really nice. <laughs> okay. I always love to. I always love to. I'll always love to create. You know, it's it's my number one thing in the world. Whether it's to design a piece of fashion, whether it's to create uh, an, an artwork. For me now, it's during the pandemic. The fact that I now have my work in museums around the world, and I get to travel to Tokyo and New York and London to exhibit my work my work in museums. Um, you know, next to making music. Creating and creation in, in general is that's the ultimate thing for me is when you wake up in the morning You have nothing and then you wake up and you've created something that's that's something I always do even when I quit music when I I mean I I might quit DJing Next year you never know but the one thing I'll never stop doing is creating Yeah, that's amazing. And please don't stop doing that <laughs> You're doing great so far. Okay, so what would you choose between build momentum and live in the moment? Between what's right? Build momentum and live in the moment. Ooh, I am a big momentum builder. Yeah, I am really. Uh, I feel like the way I build my the career where I am right now. This took me about ten years straight. I had a vision uh, ten years ago, with no management, no publisher, no record label, no one supporting me, just myself, and just waking up every day working 19 to 20 hours a day and just sort of sticking to that vision while everybody around me was saying you're insane it's never going to happen 
quit your work, do, you know, start living in reality. Um, for me, it was really about creating a momentum over the course of years. And, you know, that's something I strongly believe in. And some people are lucky. They, they can live in the moment and I'm, I, feel, I feel happy for them. But others really have to work hard and they have to really slave and, and work hard to create that momentum. But once you have that momentum, it's going to really be super gratifying. And it's something, you know, that's going to be bigger than life. Thanks once again. It's so inspiring. Okay. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay, and uh, Never See Festival is... Never See Festival is, is home, you know, the untold family, Never See. It's, it's something that, you know, I, I can do the rest of my life. Even if I stop DJing, there's a couple of festivals, a couple of places I want to keep visiting until I'm, you know, an old man in, in my 60s. And this to me, it, it goes without, e it goes so easy. You know, the people are super nice. The, the organization is amazing. The production is, is, is great and everybody's super professional. And then you walk into the stage and you always feel the love from the crowd. And to me, it doesn't matter how tired you are, how sick you are, how you're struggling with your mental health. Once you walk on that stage and you feel the love out here, it's, you know, it's something that feels like home. Beautiful, okay. And once you do all of that, do you have a go-to dance move? Do I have what? Do, I, do you have a go-to dance move? Oh, I go to dance move. Ooh, um, that's a good question. Because I don't. I'm, I'm more of a, I'm more of like a, I let my whole, that whole body just speak for itself. And I think um, I'm always afraid to dance when I get really conscious. But when I walk on stage and I put the music really loud, then sometimes I just close my eyes and I just kind of let the music take over. And then I just, I bust out whatever moves comes in my mind. <laughs> I have no idea, you know, honestly. Whatever gives energy to the rest of the crowd. But I think that's most important. You don't have to have skills. You don't have to have talent to dance. Just, just let the rhythm guide you. Yeah, I'll keep that in mind when I'm dancing next time. Cause I'm, I wish I was a professional dancer, exactly. you know, but I remember once I had to open uh, this program called So You Think You Can Dance. And I had to do this choreography. It was probably the scariest moment of my life. <laughs> <laughs> But I survived, so... There we go, congrats. congrats. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be like, yeah, so I remember when, uh, when I was 12, I was in the bar. <laughs> it was a late summer night. Yeah, there was late summer. <laughs> Picture this, Sicily, 1953. No. <laughs> okay. My grandmother walking into the... Yeah. <laughs> Finally, yeah. do you have a message to your fans that you never got to share before? I, I can only say this, thank you so much for staying with me, thank you for still being here and remember the best is yet to come, I'm just getting started, every day I wake up super motivated and my, my body and my heart is full of love thanks to you guys and I hope to see everyone, each and every one of you live in person, we got many years to go and uh, stay safe, stay healthy and stay happy. <laughs>